So now that we've seen how we can commit a tab script into a taproot output, I'd like to talk about how we can commit multiple tab scripts into a taproot um, with a, a tap tree, which is the structure we use to commit multiple tab scripts into, that, uh, into our output. So we do that with a binary Merkle tree commitment structure. Um, this tab tree, however, does not necessarily need to be balanced. And as we'll see in a second, this allows us to, to optimize for uh, spending costs depending on what tab script you think is most likely to spend, most likely to be, be spent. Uh, a quick recap of our overview. We've talked about um, the taproot uh, pub key in code in, in SegWit version one. We've talked about how we can tweak internal key to obtain this pub key, thereby committing certain data. And now we're, and now we're gonna see how this, this, um, this commitment actually reflects the tap tree consisting of multiple tap scripts uh, in this final chapter. Okay. So this is similar to um, how we committed a single tap script uh, to the tap tree before. We have our taproot uh, pub, uh, public key Q, we have our internal key P, and we are tweaking it with um, the tweak T. T in this case consists of the tag hash with the tag tap tweak, and in this case the input will be the public key, and a tap branch. Now for a tap tree, this tap branch is the root of the uh, the root node of the tap tree that we are committing. So here's a drawn out example of how a tap tree could look like. As we saw before, we um, the scripts themselves are committed as tagged hashes with the tag tap leaf. And in order to build the, ta the root of this tree, we simply construct uh, internal nodes uh, tagged tap branch in taproot. So as we hash our way up the tree, we end up with the root of this tree, which is the uh, tap branch ABC in this case. And we then can commit that uh, a root node of that tree in to obtain the, the tap tweak of our uh, taproot output. One thing to note, the nodes uh, when hashed or when, when hashed from the children of the nodes, um, the, the children are ordered lexicographically. So the ordering that, that is shown here is um, only for visual purposes only. There is actually no ambiguity in terms of how these children are hashed to obtain their parents. Okay, so finally, um, in order to commit a tap tree into a taproot output, we use binary trees. The siblings are ordered lexicographically, so there's no ambiguity. The internal nodes are tagged tap branch, so it is always clear whether we're talking about a leaf node, they're tagged tap leaf, or an internal node tagged tap branch. Again, this removes ambiguity um, in the Merkle tree. We also have descriptors for an entire taproot output. Before we looked at descriptors, we're specific to the tap script. In order to describe a taproot, we need to have obviously the internal key, but we also need to have a descriptor that describes the entire tap tree. That's what we're showing here. So a tap tree, tra tap tree descriptor consists of tuples, each tuple describing a node. At the top level, we have the root node. In this example here, we have the left child, which is a tab script 0, and we have a right child, which is the parent of tab script 1 and tab script 2. Each tab branch or internal node is re represented by its two children, child node 0 or child node 1. And obviously, because we're nesting these nodes, the expression is composable, meaning that the right uh, child of this root node is expressed by its children, tab script, zero, tab script 1 and tab script 2. So let's look at how we can spend a taproot along a specific tap script that's committed to the tap tree. Let's, uh, again, this is our taproot descriptor. In this case, we have our internal key P. We have our, um, and we have four different tap scripts committed to this tap tree. Tap script A, tap script B, tap script C, and tap script D. In order to uh, spend uh, script A, we need to provide in the spending witness the uh, satisfying witness elements for script A we need to provide script A itself, and a control block, which consists of the internal key of the taproot output, as well as an inclusion proof for script A. Um, so here's a visual representation of our inclusion proof. We are trying to spend along branch A, and in order to prove to the verifier that we are uh, spending a script that is committed, we need to provide the proof consisting of tag hash B and tag hashed CD.